Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to give you another topic about BGP, another advanced topic as a matter of fact. Oh, let's say this one is not so advanced, okay? Uh, in this video I'm going to compare BGP peer groups and BGP peer templates. And when I speak about BGP peer groups, of course, I can speak about dynamic updating peer groups. But I'm going to give you that topic in another video. So what are peer groups? What are peer templates? Which one is more common these days and why would you go for one versus another? So let's just start with peer groups because this one is a little older than peer templates. Peer group in the beginning had some different, you know, reason for existing. Uh, in the beginning, let's say that, for example, in this topology that I have, um, we have a router, like router one, and it could have multiple neighbors. Let's say, for example, 10 neighbors, 20 neighbors. And when router one wanted to send updates to each one of those neighbors, router one would create the updates, process the updates, and then send the updates for each one of those routers separately. That would be, the number of session would be a limit for a router one. So the more the session, uh, the higher the amount of resources that rather one would need to create those updates and send them to different neighbors. So Cisco came up with the idea of peer groups saying that if we have a bunch of routers that have the same attributes, share the same specifications, why would I send different updates to them? All of them need the same updates, so I'm going to send the same update to all of them. And um, Later, of course, uh, newer versions of iOS changed the behavior and they dynamically did that. So you didn't really need to create peer group to make sure that updates would be processed only once for multiple neighbors instead of sending updates to each one of them separately. And, and you didn't really need to have peer groups for that. But the still peer groups was and kind of is uh, interesting and and uh, some people really like them why because when you have multiple neighbors you just create a peer group specification separately and then you assign those neighbors to this peer group this means that you do not need to repeat the commands on and on for each neighbor which is going to give you a clear view of the running configuration in bgp i really like it Peer templates uh, build on top of peer groups. Peer template says that, okay, peer groups give you a very nice way of organizing the, uh, you know, attributes of each neighbor, but now I'm going to categorize it for you. I'm going to say that there are some of those attributes that relate to the session and some of those attributes that relate to the address family, or let's say that uh, they are policies. So I'm going to separate them for you. And that's going to give you better and, uh, you know, enhance control over all the neighbors that you have. You can have templates. And also another interesting thing about templates is uh, the hierarchical templates. This means that you can nest, no, not nesting because this is kind of a programming, um, let's say, uh, term. I could say you can inherit templates from templates. So you have a general template that you can assign to all your neighbors. You can have a specific templates derived for, from those templates. And then again, templates from templates from templates. This means that you can have inheritance in multiple levels with templates, which is something that peer groups didn't give you. So let's check the configuration. On router 1, I'm going to go to configuration and I'm going to create router BGP 65001. This is uh, an IBGP connection. So I'm going to first of all create the peer group. So first of all, I would say neighbor and I'm going to give it a name. So instead of typing the IP address, I'm going to give it a name. So let's say, for example, IBGP peers. All of them are going to be named here. And now you can see that I have peer group here. Now in different versions of iOS, you might see different things here. For example, you could see IBGP P group or something like that. But here, peer group is the only thing that I have. Okay, now that I have done this, I'm going to give this some specification. For example, I'm going to say update source is going to be loopback zero for all of them. I'm going to say because of this, maybe they are in different configuration and I need to have disable uh, 
what is it, uh, disable uh, connected check. Maybe I'm going to say they are in the same remote AS. So I'm going to say remote AS is going to be 65,001. They are going to have the same password. I'm going to allocate the password, let's say Cisco. And there might be a lot of different things that you want to have. For example, you can assign TTL security. You can say, uh, I'm going to give them the same weight. You can say, I'm going to assign timers and a lot of different things. You can shut down all of them at the same time. But what I'm going to do here is just allocating these and they are going to be enough. Now that I have done this, I'm going to say which neighbors are part of this. So for that, I need to say this. I'm going to say neighbor 2222 is going to be in peer group IBGP peers. Now the next neighbor is going to be 3333. So I'm going to say neighbor 3333 in peer group and also 4444, four, 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 of course. So I have created this, and you can see that uh, instead of repeating these commands for each one of these neighbors, I'm just doing this inside this peer group, and then I only say this neighbor is part of this peer group. So everything inside this peer group is going to be inherited by these neighbors. So let's go to router 2 and do the configuration here. So I'm going to say router BGP 65001. I'm going to say neighbor 1111 in remote AS 65001. I'm going to say update source is going to be loopback 0. Also, I need to assign a password for that, which is Cisco. So this is almost everything that I have allocated for this neighbor. And what I need to do is to just copy these commands to show run section router BGP to other routers. So I'm going to say on router 3, I have these commands. On router 4, I'm going to have the same commands and all of them should be neighbors with router 1 unless there is a mismatch and of course in this case I do not have any mismatch so I'm going to go to router 1 and also something that I forgot I wanted to make sure that all of them are route reflector clients so I just go to here and I would say all of them are route reflector clients so I'm going to save everything then I'm going to show IP BGP summary to see what they are doing. So they are in idle mode. This means that I might have a connection problem. And one reason is I do not have an B uh, IBG IGP uh, right now because of that. Uh, these loopback interfaces are not accessible. So I'm going to do this on all of them. So what I'm going to do is to say rather EIGRP1 no auto summary I'm going to say network 000 and that's going to fix the problem for me and if I show IP BGP summary you can see that now all my neighbors are up without any problem so if I just go for a specific neighbor here so do show IP BGP neighbor let's say for example 2222 it will say that this BGP neighbor is in this AS and it is part of a peer group right now. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is to go for um, another thing that's going to be the BGP templates. For BGP templates what I need to do is to first of all create a template for uh, let's say sessions and create a template for what is it? Policies. So there are going to be different things. How can I do that? So what I'm going to do, first of all, is to remove these neighbors. I'm going to say on all of them, no, rather, 
BGP 65001. This is going to be this. So rather BGP is going to be removed. Then I'm going to create templates. I'm going to say rather BGP 65001. I rather one I need to create the template because this is the one that has multiple similar sessions. So I'm going to say template and after this template it will ask me what type of template you're creating. Here session is about session related things, peer policies about policies which is going to be on their address family. So I'm going to say I'm creating peer sessions and I'm going to say this is IBGP RR uh, runners. So this is going to be my problem template. Now you can see that it is kind of a separate uh, mode which I need to enter some specific information inside that. So you can see that the list of commands are so long. Description can be added here. I can say the remote AS is something very important. So first of all I would say remote AS is going to be 65001 anything that I'm going to un uh, put it under this then I'm going to say a password is going to be added password is going to be Cisco uh, update source is going to be added for loopback zero and let's say what did I want to add here more than these things I can have you can see this uh, the list of uh, stuff that I can add here but I believe that this is going to be enough okay now that i have added this i need to go and create the peer uh, policy so i can create some more stuff from this let's say i can create a peer template that is going to be inherited from this one but i believe that that's going to be okay for now what i need to do is to go for peer policy so I'm going to exit this. I'm going to say template peer policy this time. I'm going to say all of them are going to have something like software configuration. Although this is not something good to configure, but just for uh, sake of simplicity here, I'm going to select soft reconfig. And under this, what I'm going to have again is a list of uh, policies that you can see here. Software configuration is the one that I'm going to have here. Is it inbound or unbound? That's going to be only inbound. So I'm going to do this. So you can see that I have created different things so far. Show run section rather BGP seems like this. Let's wait for that. We have peer templates created for us. So now that I have done this, I'm going to assign this peer template for each neighbor that I'm going to have. So I'm going to say neighbor 10, not 10 of course, neighbor 2, 2, 2, 2. And after that, you can see that I can assign the template right from here. Where is it? Here it is, inherit. And after inherit, it says, are you inheriting peer policy or peer session? I can inherit both of them because I have both of them. So first of all, I'm going to say peer session is going to be this one. And also I have peer policy, which is going to be this one. Now for the other one, of course, here it says bad authentication because I haven't configured this on the other side, but I'm going to do that in a second. I'm going to do the same thing for 3333. Also, oh, the remote is, it should first of all have peer session. Three 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 three, also four 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 four. And 
for policy 3333 and 4444 four, four. also 2222 two, two, two. I just forgot to do that uh, let's say 4444 four, four, four. so let's go and do this here what I'm going to do is to enable this and router 2 router 3 and router 4 and this way some of the sessions are coming up and for 2222 two, 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 of course let me see what I have let's show run section router PGP so I have created this peer session peer policy for router 2 router 3 and router 4 and everything seems to be just fine so everything is going to be like that so let's show uh, IP BGP neighbor 2222 two, 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 to see what we have here it says that inherits template IBGP RR for session parameter also it inherits another one which is going to be let's figure it out here software configuration so this way you can minimize and I'm on the configuration that you have also you can just organize everything under templates and use inheritance features of course I didn't inherit any templates from other templates but I can do that for that what I need to do is to go under router configuration and I'm going to say template and then you can see that we have peer policy and peer session one more time let's say I'm going to create peer session and then it asks me for a name for example I say IBGP RR clients something like 02 whatever that is and I can create this and I can easily say that this is inheriting another peer session which is IBGPRR. So you see, and then go for more configuration because whatever IBGPRR has now is under IBGPRR client 02. And I can add more specifics for that and then I can assign it to a specific neighbors. Those neighbors are going to have all these configuration plus the inherited ones.